my beautiful people, it's Yana, and I'm back today with yet another video. And today we're gonna be taking a look at a video titled, We Found a Stalker in Her Basement. I think it's safe to say we can all agree that basements are already creepy as it is. Put a stalker in the mix and you have yourself a nightmare. That's exactly why I wanted to take a look at this video with you guys. So if you're as excited as I am, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get into it. So today we received a report report from a girl named Kenzie. Kenzie thinks that she's being stalked by a man who she doesn't know. She says she keeps getting calls from an anonymous number and when she picks up, they don't say anything. They just listen to her. She also says that she received a text message with a picture of her brushing her teeth in the bathroom. She thinks someone in her backyard took this picture. We invited Kenzie to our set today to try to find out more information about this and hopefully get to the bottom of it. Okay, this really does seem like a job for the police. Poor girl literally got a picture of her brushing her teeth sent to her phone in her own house. I mean, this is like a literal stalker. They're calling her, they're texting her, they're watching her from her backyard. Girl, call the police. Hi, Kenzie. So nice to meet you. Come in, please. Hey. Come in. Wait, uh, are you already recording? Parker, nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah, Hi. he's always recording. Let's sit down and let's talk a little bit about the situation, okay? Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. All right. Just go ahead. you. She doesn't seem to be too big of a fan of the camera. Also, this is the first time I've ever seen them invite someone over to them instead of them going to the person's house, which I have to say is a way better idea because that way you avoid so many problems. Okay, so Kenzie, when did this start happening to you? I think around a month ago. Why do you think this is happening? Did you post your number or address online at any point? <laughs> uh... Well, yeah, I, I think. You think? What does that mean? Well, doesn't everyone? No, girl, not everyone does that. A little piece of advice, please never do that because then things like this will happen. Guys, there's lots of crazy people out there. Not everyone needs to know where you are. I love how she said it so obviously too. Duh, don't we all post our address online and our phone number? Girl, you might as well upload your social security number at that point. Well, I mean like on Facebook or something. It says where I went to school. Okay. So you said that last time when you were home alone, you heard biting and scratching at your door. All right, listen, like if you're not actually going to take me seriously, like I'm just going to leave. No, I, I don't mean it like that. I, I just mean that there's a possibility that it could be your friends playing like a mean prank on you. Oh my God. I know my friends would never do anything like that. She's like, if you're not gonna take me serious, I'm just gonna get the hell out of here. I mean, to be fair, it seems like they are taking her pretty seriously. I don't really know where she got the fact that they don't seem to be taking her seriously. Cause like, I mean, they're there, they're trying to help her. All right, so since your parents aren't home tonight, uh, we're gonna go to your house, we're gonna set up some cameras and we're gonna wait outside in the car to see if anything suspicious is going on. I'm gonna know where all the cameras are, right? Yeah, you can watch us set them up. I mean, if you're not comfortable with this, we don't have to. Well, I'm just saying, like, through. it's a little. I mean, all right. <laughs> We're trying to help. <laughs> okay. This is literally the weirdest video I've ever seen. It's like she wants them there, but she also doesn't want them there at the same time. We're trying to help, miss. Like, what do you want me to do? Kenzie, listen. All we want to do here is find out who's doing this to you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's get to work. Let's get to work. All right, so we're starting our drive to Kenzie's house. She went back to her house a couple hours ago. We're gonna go there, we're gonna set up. She doesn't live too far, so. I still don't think that that we're gonna find anything, dude. I don't know, dude. I just wanna make sure she's not in any danger. There's a possibility that someone is stalking her. Okay, so they are going to her house. I mean, I guess it makes sense. They have to go there to see what's going on. But as always, I feel like this is a bad idea. Sometimes it's better to help from a distance. I feel like they always go in these houses and end up getting trapped or chased out by some sort of monster or like really weird creature slash crazy person. It's just always something. All right, so I think it's definitely her house. Uh, let's go in, dude. Let's get to work. Let's get organized. Right, let's, let's do go. this.
All right, so we just finished setting up all the cameras. We have cameras in every room of this house, kitchen, the downstairs, bathrooms, bedrooms, everything. We got it all covered. We're gonna wait in the car. We told Kenzie to just go in her room, do whatever she normally does. We'll wait in the car and we'll be watching all the camera angles on her phone. If we see something, we'll come in. If not, we're just gonna waste this night. Let's go and do it, start waiting. I have to say it's actually really smart that they're not sleeping in the house because in case something happens They can run in or they can run away depending what they need to do All right, so right now we're on our phone right now and we're looking at all the different camera angles So we got cameras all over this house, dude So we just gotta be watching these cameras for a long time I think we should sleep in shifts if you see something wake me up if I see something I'll wake you up uh, okay, so let's just keep this here. Let's set this up. Dude, I'm, I'm pretty awake. Let's just relax. Is it me or did they just both fall asleep? You better wake up because I feel like the stalker is gonna come out any minute and you're just gonna sleep right through it. Yo, yo. Wake up. I'm going to sleep. Yo, wake up. What's that? It's nothing. Bro, that's not nothing. That's definitely something. It seems to me like someone's trying to break into the house. Things are about to get intense. It's like the curtain, look at it. No, dude, what, what the hell is that thing? My biggest nightmare, I don't know what is. Ew, and it's like laughing too. Not to mention, it's walking on all fours. Maybe this actually isn't a person. This has to be some sort of creature. What is that? Is it a dog? Is it a person? What the hell is that thing? Try to zoom in. Dude, this is actually getting scary what, what do you mean this is actually getting scary bro we gotta go inside dude what the heck is that how how is it moving like that let's go let's go okay so they're about to run inside straight into the fire where it's the most dangerous right now i mean i get it they came there to help the girl they're doing their job but if i were to see something like that crawling around i'm sorry i'm calling it quits i'm packing my bags and i'm getting the hell out of there Oh my god, dude! What is it, dude? It's cold. Where is it? It's literally going to hide. This is a sneaky little monster. You didn't see that guy that was in here. You didn't I, see him. I didn't see anything. What do you mean? Oh my god, dude. You mean oh there's somebody Oh my god, I'm so here? sorry you were right. Yeah. Dude, you could still be up there. What are we gonna do? Call the police? That seems like a good idea. Having a creature camping out in your basement seems like it warrants calling the police. Could just be me, though. Alright, what's up? Alright, I'm gonna call the cops. You're not leaving. Alright, alright. Right. What do you mean? He's like, you think he's up there? I have no idea. Should, should we leave? Yeah, just come to my car, all right, let's go. All right, let's go. Take all your stuff, hurry up. Come on, let's, let's go. go. Hey guys, so we filmed that video two days ago. We were told that the police did not find anyone in the attic and we're still waiting to hear back from them on their investigation. Unfortunately, there's a lot of creeps in the world. There's a lot of people
and other substances. If you suspect any suspicious behavior, contact the police or if you're young, tell your parents about it immediately. All right, so it seems like they got out of the house, they called for help, and the police didn't end up finding anyone in the attic. So this person or creature or whatever the hell it was managed to get out just in time. He's right, there are a lot of creeps and weird people in this world. Who knows who it could have been or why they were doing that. But this was definitely a crazy video and something that I truly never want to experience for myself. If you guys enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye!